Hops Hops are the flowers, also called seed cones or strobles, of the hop plant Humulus lupulus. They are used primarily as a bittering, flavoring, and stability agent in beer, to which they impart, in addition to bitterness, floral, fruity, or citric flavors and aromas. Hops are also used for various purposes in other beverages and herbal medicine. The hop plant is a vigorous, climbing, herbaceous perennial, usually trained to grow up strings in a field called a hop field, hop garden, nomenclature in the south of England, or hop yard, in the West Country and U.S., when grown commercially. Many different varieties of hops are grown by farmers around the world, with different types used for particular styles of beer. The first documented use of hops in beer is from the 9th century, though Hildegard of Bingen, 300 years later, is often cited as the earliest documented source. Before this period, brewers used a groot, composed of a wide variety of bitter herbs and flowers, including dandelion, burdock root, marigold, whorehound, the old German name for whorehound, bergopfen, means mountain hops, ground ivy, and heather. Early documents include mention of a hop garden in the will of Charlemagne's father, Papon III. Hops are also used in brewing for their antibacterial effect over less desirable microorganisms and for purported benefits including balancing the sweetness off the malt with bitterness and a variety of flavors and aromas. Historically, traditional herb combinations for beers were believed to have been abandoned et had beers made with hops were noticed to be less prone to spoilage. The first documented hop cultivation was in 736, in the Hollertau region of present-day Germany. Although the first mention of the use of hops in brewing in half country was 1079. However, in a will of Papon the Short, the father of Charlemagne, hop gardens were left to the cloister of Saint Denis in 768. Not until the 13th century did hops begin to start threatening the use of Groot for flavoring. Groot was used when the nobility levied taxes on hops. Whichever was taxed made the brewer then quickly switch to the other. In Britain, hop beer was first imported from Holland around 1400. Yet hops were condemned as late as 1519 as a wicked and pernicious wheat. In 1471, Norwich, England, banned use of the plant in the brewing of ale. Beer was the name for fermented malt liquors bittered with hops. Only in recent times are the words often used as synonyms. In Germany, using hops was also a religious and political choice in the early 16th century. There was no tax on hops to be paid to the Catholic Church, unlike on Groot. For this reason the Protestants preferred hop beer. Hops used in England were imported from France, Holland and Germany with import duty paid for those. It was not until 1524 that hops were first grown in the southeast of England, Kent, when they were introduced as an agricultural crop by Dutch farmers. Therefore, in the hop industry there are many words which originally were Dutch words, see Oost House. Hops were then grown as far north as Aberdeen, near breweries for convenience of infrastructure. According to Thomas Tusser's 1557 500 points of good husbandry, the hop for his profit I thus do exult, it strengtheneth drink and it flavoreth malt, and being well brewed long kept it will last, and drawing abide, if ye draw not too fast. In England there were many complaints over the quality of imported hops, the sacks of which were often contaminated by stalks, sand or straw to increase a fair weight. As a result, in 1603, King James I approved an act of Parliament banning the practice by which the subjects of this realm had been of late years abused in sea. To the value of £20,000 yearly, besides the danger of their health. Hop cultivation was begun in the present-day United States in 1629 by English and Dutch farmers. Before Prohibition, cultivation was mainly centered around New York, California, Oregon, and Washington State. Problems with powdery mildew and downy mildew devastated New York's production by the 1920s, and California only produces hops on a small scale. Hop bars were used before modern machinery was invented to make the holes for the hop poles. Hops production is concentrated in moist temperate climates, with much of the world's production occurring near the 48th parallel north. Hop plants prefer the same soils as potatoes, and the leading potato growing states in the United States are also major hops producing areas. However, not all potato growing areas can produce good hops naturally. Soils in the maritime provinces of Canada, for example, lack the boron that hops prefer. Historically, hops were not grown in Ireland, but were imported from England. In 1752 more than 500 tons of English hops were imported through Dublin alone. Important production centers today are the Hollertau in Germany, the Jodits, 
Sots, in the Czech Republic, the Yakima, Washington, and Willamette, Oregon Valleys, and Western Canyon County, Idaho, including the communities of Parma, Wilder, Greenleaf, and Notice. The principal production centers in the Yukar and Kent, which produces Kent Goldings hops, Herefordshire, and Worcestershire. Essentially all of the harvested hops are used in beer making. Although hops are grown in most of the continental United States and Canada, cultivation of hops for commercial production requires a particular environment. As hops are a climbing plant, they are trained to grow up trellises made from strings or wires that support the plants and allow them significantly greater growth with the same sunlight profile. In this way, energy that would have been required to build structural cells is also freed for crop growth. The hop plant's reproduction method is that male and female flowers develop on separate plants although occasionally a fertile individual will develop which contains both male and female flowers. Because pollinated seeds are undesirable for brewing beer, only female plants are grown in hop fields, thus preventing pollination. Female plants are propagated vegetatively, and male plants are culled if plants are grown from seed. Hop plants are planted in rows about apart. Each spring, the roots send forth new vines that are started up strings from the ground to an overhead trellis. The cones grow high on the vine. And in the past, these cones were picked by hand. Harvesting of hops became much more efficient with the invention of the mechanical hops separator, patented by Emil Clemens Horst in 1909. Harvest comes near the end of summer when the vines are pulled down and the flowers are taken to a hop house or roast house for drying. Hop houses are two story buildings, of which the upper story has a slatted floor covered with burlap. Here the flowers are poured out and raked, even. A heating unit on the lower floor is used to dry the hops. When dry, the hops are moved to a press, a sturdy box with a plunger. Two long pieces of burlap are laid into the hop press at right angles, the hops are poured in and compressed into bales. Hop cones contain different oils, such as lupulin, a yellowish, waxy substance, and oleoresin, that imparts flavor and aroma to beer. Lupulin contains lupulone and humulone, which possess antibiotic properties. Suppressing bacterial growth favoring brewer's yeast to grow. After lupulin has been extracted in the brewing process, the papery cones are discarded. The need for mass labor at harvest time meant hop growing had a big social impact. Around the world, the labor intensive harvesting work involved large numbers of migrant workers who would travel for the annual hop harvest. Whole families would participate and live in hoppers' huts, with even the smallest children helping in the fields. The final chapters of W. Somerset Moms of Human Bondage and a large part of George Orwell's A Clergyman's Daughter contain a vivid description of London families participating in this annual hops harvest. In England, many of those picking hops in Kent were from eastern areas off London. This provided a break from urban conditions that was spent in the countryside. People also came from Birmingham and other Midland cities topic hops in the Malvern area of Worcestershire. Some photographs have been preserved. Particularly in Kent. Because of a shortage of small denomination coin of the realm, many growers issued their own currency to those doing the labor. In some cases, the coins issued were adorned with fanciful hops images, making them quite beautiful. In the U.S., prohibition had a major impact on hops productions, but remnants of this significant industry in West and Northwest U.S. are still noticeable in the form of old hop kilns that survived throughout Sonoma County, among others. Florian Dauenhauer, of Santa Rosa in Sonoma County, became a manufacturer of hop harvesting machines in 1940, in part because of the hop industry's importance to the county. This mechanization helped destroy the local industry by enabling large-scale mechanized production, which moved to larger farms in other areas. Downhower Manufacturing remains a current producer of hop harvesting machines. In addition to water, cellulose, and various proteins, the chemical composition of hops consists of compounds important for imparting character to beer. Probably the most important chemical compound within hops are the alpha acids or humulones. During wort boiling, the humulones are thermally isomerous adinto iso alpha acids or isohumulones, which are responsible for the bitter taste of beer. Hops contain beta acids or lupulones. These are desirable for their aroma contributions to beer. The main components of hops essential oils are terpene hydrocarbons consisting of myrcene. Humulene and caryophylline. Myrcene is responsible for the pungent smell of fresh hops. Humulene and its oxidative reaction products may give beer its prominent hop aroma. Together, myrcene, humulene, and caryophylline represent 80 to 90% of the total hops essential oil.
well. Xanthahume was the principal flavonoid in hops. The other well studied prenyl flavonoids are 8 prenyl neuranine and isoxanthahumyl. Xanthahumyl is under basic research for its potential properties, while 8 prenyl neuranine is a potent phytoestrogen. Hops are usually dried in an oast house before they are used in the brewing process. Undried or wet hops are sometimes, since CA.1990, used. The wort, sugar rich liquid produced from malt, is boiled with hops before it is cooled down and yeast is added, to start fermentation. The effect of hops on the finished beer varies by type and use, though there are two main hop types, bittering and aroma. Bittering hops have higher concentrations of alpha acids, and are responsible for the large majority of the bitter flavor of a beer. European, so called noble, hops typically average 5 to 9% alpha acids by weight, AABW, and the newer American cultivars typically range from 8 to 19%. Obwaroma hops usually have a lower concentration of alpha acids, till to 5% and are the primary contributors of hop aroma and, non-bitter, flavored. Bittering hops are boiled for a longer period of time, typically 60 to 90 minutes, to maximize the isomerization of the alpha acids. They often have inferior aromatic properties, as the aromatic compounds evaporate during the boil. The degree of bitterness imparted by hops depends on the degree to which alpha acids are isomerized during the boil, and the impact of a given amount of hops is specified in international bitterness units. Unboiled hops are only mildly bitter. On the other hand, the non-bitter flavor and aroma of hops come from the essential oils, which evaporate during the boil. Aroma hops are typically added to the wort later to prevent the evaporation of the essential oils, to impart hop taste, if during the final 30 minutes of boil or hop aroma, if during the final 10 minutes, or less, of boil. Aroma hops are often added after the wort has cooled and while the beer ferments, a technique known as dry hopping which contributes to the hop aroma. Farnesine is a major component in some hops. The composition of hop essential oils can differ between varieties and between years in the same variety, having a significant influence on flavor and aroma. Today, a substantial amount of dual-use hops are used, as well. These have high concentrations of alpha acids and good aromatic properties. These can be added to the boil at any time, depending on the desired effect. Hop acids also contribute to and stabilize the foam qualities of beer. Flavors and aromas are described appreciatively using terms which include grassy, floral, citrus, spicy, piney, lemony, grapefruit, and earthy. Many pale lagers have fairly low hop influence, while lagers marketed as Pilsener or brewed in the Czech Republic may have noticeable noble hop aroma. Certain ales, particularly the highly hopped style known as India Pale Ale, or Atba, can have high levels of hop bitterness. Brewers may use software tools to control the bittering levels in the boil and adjust recipes to account for a change in the hop bill or seasonal variations in the crop that may lead to the need to compensate for a difference in alpha acid contribution. Data may be shared with other brewers via beer XML allowing their production of a recipe allowing for differences in hop availability. There are many different varieties of hops used in brewing today. Historically, Hops varieties were identified by geography, such as Hollertau, Spalt, and Chetnang from Germany, by the farmer who was recognized as first cultivating them, such as Goldings or Fuggles from England, or by their growing habit, for example, Oregon Cluster. Around 1900, a number of institutions began to experiment with breeding specific hop varieties. The breeding program at Y College in Y. Kent was started in 1904 and rose to prominence through the work of Professor E.S. Salmon. Salmon released Brewer's Gold and Brewer's Favorite for commercial cultivation in 1934, and went on to release more than two dozen new cultivars before his death in 1959. Brewer's Gold has become the ancestor of the bulk of new hop releases around the world since its release. Y College continued its breeding program and again received attention in the 1970s, when Dr. Ray A. Nave released Y Target. Y Challenger, Y Northdown, Y Saxon, and Y Yeoman. More recently, Y College and its successor institution Y Hops Limited, have focused on breeding the first dwarf hop varieties, which are easier to pick by machine and far more economical to grow. Y College have also been responsible for breeding hop varieties that will grow with only 12 hours of daily light for the South African hop farmers. Y College was closed in 2009, but the legacy of their hop breeding programs, particularly that of the dwarf varieties, is continuing as already the USA private and public breeding programs are using their stock material. Particular hop varieties are associated with beer regions and styles, 
For example pale lagers are usually brewed with European, often German, Polish or Czech, noble hop varieties such as Sotz, Hollertau, and Strissel Spalt. British ales use hop varieties such as Fuggles, Goldings and WGV North American beers often use Cascade hops, Columbus hops, Centennial hops, Willamette, Amarillo hops and about 40 more varieties as the USA have lately been the more significant breathers of new hop varieties, including dwarf hop varieties. Hops from New Zealand, such as Pacific Gem, Motilka, and Nelson Sauvin, are used in a Pacific Pale Ale style of beer with increasing production in 2014. The term noble hops traditionally refers to varieties of hops which are low in bitterness and high in aroma. They are the European cultivars or races Hollertau, Tetnanger, Spalt, and Sotz. Their low relative bitterness but strong aroma are often distinguishing characteristics of European style lagers, such as Pilsener, Dunkel, and Oktoberfest slash Meritzen. In beer, they are considered aroma hops, as opposed to bittering hops. See Pilsner Urkthel is a classic example of the Bohemian Pilsner style, which showcases noble hops. As with grapes, the location where hops are grown affects the hops' characteristics. Much as Dortmunder beer may within the EU be labeled Dortmunder only if it has been brewed in Dortmund, noble hops may officially be considered noble only if they were grown in the areas for which the hop varieties, races were named. English noble varieties are Fuggel, East Kent Goldings, and Goldings. They are characterized through analysis as having an alpha-beta ratio of 1 to 1, low alpha acid levels, 2 to 5 percent, with a low cohumulone content, low mercine in the hop oil, high humulene in the oil, a ratio of humulene caryophylline above 3, and poor storability resulting in them being more prone to oxidation. In reality, this means they have a relatively consistent bittering potential as they age, due to beta acid oxidation, and a flavor that improves as they age during periods of poor storage. In addition to beer, hops are used in herbal teas and in soft drinks. These soft drinks include Jule Must, a carbonated beverage similar to soda that is popular in Sweden during December, Malta, a Latin American soft drink, and kvass. Hops can be eaten, the young shoots of the vine are edible and can be cooked similar to asparagus. Hops may be used in herbal medicine in a way similar to valerian, as a treatment for anxiety restlessness, and insomnia. A pillow filled with hops is a popular folk remedy for sleeplessness, and animal research has shown a sedative effect. The relaxing effect of hops may be due, in part, to the specific degradation product from alpha acids, 2-methyl-3-butantool, as demonstrated from nighttime consumption of non-alcoholic beer. 2-methyl-3-butantool is structurally similar to tert amyl alcohol which was historically used as an anesthetic. Hops tend to be unstable when exposed to light or air and lose their potency after a few months' storage. Hops are of interest for hormone replacement therapy and are under basic research for potential relief of menstruation-related problems. In preliminary veterinary research, hops compounds are under study for potential activity against pasture-associated laminitis in horses. Dermatitis sometimes results from harvesting hops. Although few cases require medical treatment, an estimated 3% of the workers suffer some type of skin lesions on the face, hands, and legs. Hops are toxic to dogs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.